my dear children very good morning i am adnarayana i am teaching biology class today in previous class i explained about introduction of respiration and the properties of gases explained by lavoisier in this class we have to learn pathway of hair i said in the morning in this class we have to learn about pathway of air how air is entered into our brain from blood how carbon dioxide is out of our lungs we have to learn in this class today see this is human respiratory system when we remember the word human respiratory system we have to remember a few words what are the parts involved in respiratory system normal we have to say how air enters into the body normally the air the air enters to the nose after it passes the next four nostrils nasal cavity pharynx larynx trachea bronchus bronchioles finally alveolus and brain these are the parts involved in human respiratory system you learn at 7th class what are the parts involved in human respiratory system see what is the main part involved in this lungs lungs are the main parts involved in respiration process you know very well lungs are the main parts but where gases exchange takes place inside the lungs have a numerous number of air sacs are present air sacs these are balloon like structures which are filled with the air alveolus are the structural functional units of lungs see once remember brain is made up of nerve cells so neurons are nerve cells are the structural functional units of nerve system kidneys kidneys are made up of nephrons nephrons are the structural function units of kidneys whereas lungs lungs made up of alveolus alveolus are the structural function units of lungs because for making for forming of uh, lungs alveolus are required these are air sacs or air channels which are present inside the lungs in this part gases exchange takes place that is alveolus okay then lungs we know we have two lungs right side lung left side lung okay 
it is the size of the lungs it is somewhat broad in nature it's made up of alveolus alveolus means air sacs air chambers filled with air when we spread these all air sacs it is equal size of the tennis court nearly 160 meters square that much size is there inside the lungs when we spread alveolus that size is equivalent to the tennis court nearly 160 meters square okay around around the lungs a thin elastic fibrous membrane is present that is called as pleura pleura membrane lungs are surrounded by membranes are called as pleural membrane there is a brief uh, introduction about the lungs and their parts let us see how the air is goes to the several parts finally reaches to the each and every cell see this is respiratory system of human beings there are several parts involved in this let us learn first one nose it consists of nostrils this is the nose we know that and set the nose as two nostrils these are the nostrils see these are the nostrils air usually enters to this part we are taking air through nose consists of nostrils so when air is passes through the nostrils or uh, enters to the nostrils it goes towards the nasal cavity it goes towards the nasal cavity nasal cavity some specialized characteristics are there see first one air is filtered in the nasal cavity only the surface of the nasal cavity is moist hair grows on the sides these three are very most important next one is its temperature is brought close to the tough part body these four are very most important points about nasal cavity see air grows moist lining air filters and temperature is is brought to the close to the tough part body next one it takes a water bath it becomes more moist than before in the atmosphere water vapor is present it takes up through nostrils after reaching to the nasal cavity that is a second part first one nostrils second one nasal cavity after a goes towards the pharynx this is the third part third part what is the special characteristic of pharynx see here 
warming and masking goes on it is the common passage of air and food it is the common passage through the nose we are taking air so nostrils after air goes towards the nasal cavity after pharynx air moves on this part whereas food goes to the mouth it is reaches to the pharynx so pharynx are the common passages of one hail and food that is about the pharynx here one more structure is present that is epiglottis epiglottis is the flap like structure it is the flap like structure which controls the food and air goes to their respective places this is the flap like structure that is called epiglottis which controls food and air means that air goes to the wind pipe food moves towards the food pipe which controlled by epiglottis it is a flap like wall that is about the pharynx next part is a larynx see this is a larynx part larynx is a stiff box which contains vocal cords vocal cords are present air passes on the vocal cords it causes them to vibrate to produce sounds as well as speeches and sounds etc when air goes on the vocal cords which causes vibrate the vocal cords to produce sounds when air out of the lungs when air comes out from the lungs to make vibrate the vocal cords to produce sounds it is a stiff box that is larynx after that air goes on pharynx larynx after trachea and goes on trachea what is trachea it is a wind pipe take your fingers keep it on our throat we feel here a tube like structure is present this tube like structure is called as trachea what is the function of trachea it's channeling air to the lungs air is moving on from nose to nostrils nasal cavity pharynx larynx trachea after it goes towards the lungs that is about trachea next one bronchus at its lower and the trachea its lower end of the trachea this is trachea it is the lower end of the trachea is called as bronchus it divides into two bronchi one leading to each lung see here this is a bronchus now each bronchus can be divided into two parts 
one part is goes into the right side of the lung another part is moves towards the left side of the lung that is about the bronchus again bronchus further divided into small small branches those are called as bronchioles these are the bronchioles these are the bronchioles again each bronchiole divided into smaller smaller bronchus those are called as a bronchioles this is bronchus bronchus divided into bronchioles small small bronchioles here we have to learn when these bronchioles are reached to the underside of the lungs lungs are made up of a numerous number of alveolus are present those are called as the alveolus you know these are the numerous number these are called as a sacs which is filled with air see air is a moves on this all parts finally reaches to the alveolus which are present inside the lungs now air is present in the alveolus here some important points are there alveolus alveolus helps in increasing the surface area for exchange of gases these are the structural functional units of lungs these are also called as air sacs or air chambers here what happened here blood cavity takes up oxygen here when it collects the oxygen around the alveolus blood capillaries are present blood capillaries these are the blood capillaries from here oxygen is enters into the blood oxygen is enters into the blood and the blood contains carbon dioxide carbon dioxide reaching into the alveolus we are taking a air air moves on its own course finally reaching to the alveolus from the alveolus oxygen molecules are moves into the blood from the blood carbon dioxide enters into the alveolus this is called as gases exchange oxygen and this is the blood and the blood carbon dioxide present this is enters into the lungs that is called alveolus so finally blood reaches sorry oxygen reaches to the blood oxygen reaches to the blood blood is a medium of transportation of gases like oxygen or carbon dioxide okay now oxygen is reaching to the blood that carries oxygen to the each and every cell and it collects carbon dioxide also why it collects carbon dioxide because we are expelling the carbon dioxide for releasing of carbon dioxide from the blood it collects carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide goes to the alveolus from the alveolus it reaches to the bronchioles bronchioles to bronchus after carbon dioxide reaches to the trachea 
larynx, pharynx, nasal cavity, mastitis. See what is the flow chart of oxygen and carbon dioxide. How oxygen is goes? Goes into the cell. See. Into the nose, after nostrils, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchioles, alveolus, blood. From the blood, carbon dioxide is present. Carbon dioxide goes on this all parts. It's coming outside. This is about the pathway of pain. Here one important point is that from nostrils to alveolar is moist and warm. The total process is goes on into these parts. The air is becomes moisting as well as warm. Okay, once remember some important points are there. They will ask in the public examination. Please remember it. See this. Write about the functions of nasal cavity. See these points are important. Air is filter, moist surface. Means the lining of nasal cavity is uh, moist. Hair goes on the sides. One more important point is its temperature is brought close to the of our body. Whatever the temperature is present, the outside, it is close to the of our body. Remember. Next one. Next important point is the pharynx. Warming and moisturizing goes on. If air is cool, it becomes warm. When air is moisturizing, it becomes warm. When air is warm, it becomes cool or moisturizing. The process is goes on in fans. It is the common passage of air and food. Here, one structure is present. Epiglottis. It is the flap-like wall which controls air and food. Air goes to the air pipe, food goes to the food pipe. Next one. One more important in this alveoli. Alveoli is the structural function of lungs. Which increasing surface area for exchange of gases. These are also called as air chambers or air sacs. Okay, these are important points. See about lungs. Lungs are respiratory organs in human beings. It is surrounded by layers. Surrounded by layers, these are called as flora. Flora or floral membranes. The membranes are surrounded by the lungs are called floral membranes. Okay, one more important point. The area inside the lungs is equal to the tennis court. It is nearly 160 meters square. Okay, children, so let's remember these all points. What is the back of A? Nose, nostrils, nostril cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchial, 
bronchioles alveolus blood okay this is the pathway of air final reaches to the each and every cell what is the importance of oxygen here why air goes to the each and every cell why for oxidation process for releasing of energy it requires oxygen for us thank you children write these all points in your notes and watch two to three times then you can understand clearly then i have to learn each and every point very most important thank you thank you so much